Hey, so I'm about to embark on a 30 day fitness challenge and I'd love you to join me. It's gonna be hard. I mean, I'm doing this for myself and uh, I wanna make it as difficult as possible because I don't want just to train my body. I wanna train up here. I wanna get myself a bit more resilient. I wanna get myself a bit tougher and the mind and body are linked. And when you really push your body to your limit, the brain adapts too and you build resilience and you get tougher and you get more, you get more disciplined. So I'm doing it for those reasons. But on top of that, I'm in my mid 40s and uh, I used to be pretty fit. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously quite fit because I'm a coach, so all coaches are pretty fit, right? But um, I was at my fittest like 10, 12 years ago when I was competing. I used to compete in a couple of things, ultra marathons and also Muay Thai. Now, back when I did those things, I was 10 kilos lighter. What's that? 25 pounds lighter than I am now. So obviously, like this is, can you see that? That. Not massive, but it ain't a six pack. So I need to sort that shit out. And I reckon in 30 days, I can, you know? Even though I'm in my 40s, the body still adapts quick when you train hard and train smart. So I wanna get rid of that. Uh, I also wanna get stronger. I haven't lifted weights properly in a long time. I wanna get more powerful. I wanna build my endurance. I wanna work on everything. All the different pillars of fitness, agility and coordination, skill, flexibility, mobility. I wanna work on all of it. I wanna see how much fitter I can be, how much more capable I can be in 30 days time than now. And I want you to join me on it because I'm gonna vlog about this every day and I'm gonna explain all the exercises I'm doing and share with you how I'm feeling and what I'm eating and all the little minor successes and the no doubt the many failures, um, but it's gonna be a journey. And it's way more fun rather than you just watching it and going, oh, that's quite interesting. And if I do well, oh, that's inspiring. No, fuck that, do it with me. Do it with me, then you've got your own story. So um, that's my challenge for you to, to join me on this 30 day fitness transformation challenge. And uh, I guess try and keep up. Hey, so there's three things I need to get my head around if we're gonna do a challenge like this. First of all is the exercise, the programming side of it, like what to do and when and how to break it up. Uh, second is the nutrition side of it, which is very important, obviously. And third is the, is the mental side of it. So first of all, let's talk about the exercise side. So my general plan, and bear in mind, I'm filming this on day zero. We're starting tomorrow on day one. So it may all change after, after I start moving. I'm like, oh no, that's too hard. But my plan is to do six hard days or six days of training, I mean, and then one day off. So six days training, one day off. Now, within that, I think there should be two hard days back to back, then one easy day. Two hard days and one easy day. And that won't destroy my body because like I said, I'm, I'm not 21, clearly. So I need a bit of time to recover. I need to have days where I go down a little bit because I'm not used to what I'm about to start at all. And I think my body will fall apart if I just go full on all the way. Um, I'm gonna do cardio in the morning and I'm gonna do the weights and the movement stuff and the agility and the mobility stuff in the afternoon, okay? But the morning one is gonna be very early because I have to do it before work because I'm pretty busy. I have a job, as you know, so um, I have to kind of fit it in around my job. So I'm gonna get up early around about 6, 6.30 and do my cardio and then I'll do my afternoon workout probably just before dinner, so around about sort of half five, six o'clock. Um, it's a little bit imposing my work, but you have to make some little sacrifices if you're gonna do uh, a challenge like this. I can't just give up everything and become a full-time athlete for a month, which I've done before and it's amazing. Um, I have to kind of juggle um, being, you know, having a family and um, having a business and all those kind of things. So, um, so yeah, that's the exercise side of things. Obviously, as I mentioned, I'm gonna, well, I haven't mentioned it yet actually, but every day I'm gonna do it and then vlog about it as I do it. So I'll actually write out the exercises and the sets and reps and what, what the plan was and what I really did um, for you each day. So then you can follow along and you can either try and beat me or you can see what I failed and try and you know do better or you can be inspired because I planned something and I managed to nail it. I guess we'll find out. So secondly is the nutrition side of things. Now I eat pretty well, uh, not perfectly, but I eat pretty well. Uh, over the next 30 days, I'm not gonna have any alcohol, any soft drinks. Um, I'm going to reduce sugar and I'm not gonna snack. So I'm probably gonna stick to two meals a day actually, rather than three. Uh, I think I'm gonna skip breakfast because for me, I'm holding more weight than I need to. 
So I'm just going to not have breakfast. I'm going to start eating around about 11.30 and I'm going to stop eating around about sort of 7.30, I imagine. So that gives my gut a chance to uh, rest. And I do think if you want to lose weight, you can't just constantly be eating all the time. No matter how healthy it is, um, I want my body to get used to being in a state where it's not digesting food all the time. Um, I'm not a nutritionist. Uh, obviously, we have nutritionists working for the company and um, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be this challenge isn't about being the most scientific, it's about having some fun and doing the right thing for, for me. So I, I know myself pretty well and I know what my, you know, I know with food, like, I know like biscuits and ice cream and beer, they're my kind of vices. I'm gonna cut those, cut those out completely. Uh, I'm gonna cook everything, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have, uh, make sure there's a variety of different types of proteins, different veg. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you, you know, you'll see in all the videos what I'm eating and what choices I'm making and why. Okay. And thirdly is uh, the mental side of things. Now, this is going to be hard and you have to prepare yourself for that. Now, I imagine the first three days will be particularly hard. That's why I'm sort of incorporating like an easy day on day three, because um, doing stuff like this in the past, in my youth, I, I always remember it kind of like knocks you out. Even going for runs, like I, I did a, a run the other day and the first K was just terrible and then it got easier. So um, you have to kind of prepare yourself for that. So I know it's going to be tough um, because of my age, recovery and mobility and stretching is an important factor. So I'm definitely going to incorporate that into a program where, to be honest, if I was doing this when I was 25, I wouldn't bother. But, um, you know, needs must. I mean, I think that's it. I mean, I will share more as we go on. So my plan is uh, to, I'm going to have a camera with me at all times um, and I'm going to basically be a vlogger. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to start from tomorrow, so I'm going to do the workout, do the eating and film everything. And then at the end of each day, around about sort of nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, I'll get all the footage and I'll give myself two hours to edit it as best I can to make it into a, a, a nice little 10, 15 minute video. Uh, that's my plan. Because I have, like I said, I have to work around other things. So, um, and that will give me some sort of accountability, I think. So every day there'll be a 10, 15 minute video and um, hopefully, hopefully they'll be entertaining and fun. And yeah, I can't wait to do this. I'm really excited by this actually. And um, I really hope you sort of do it with me and you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, you know what, one more thing. I want to give you a little tour of where I'm training. So I'm in my back garden, I've got a little rain cover on at the moment. Um, well, that's, that's that's my back garden there, but this is like a little garage bit where I'm very lucky I've got like an outdoor bit to train. So I've got a punch bag underneath that, which I'll be using. I've got a kettlebell, I've got a 12, I've also got a 20, but the 20 is breaking. Don't know how I managed to break a kettlebell, but I'll probably just use the 12. I've got some parallel bars. I've got some Indian clubs. These are six kilo Indian clubs, which to be honest, are a bit too heavy for me. Um, Indian clubs are a bit like kettlebells, but even harder. Uh, dumbbells, I've got a pair of 12 and a halfs and I've got a pair of 20s. Hex dumbbells, which I prefer. I've got a plyer box, I've got heavy ankle weights, which are particularly good for ab stuff. Uh, skipping rope, I've got a bike, I've got a bench, I've got a suspension cable. Um, there's a few other little things I've got. I've actually got a pulley system now, so I can do like triceps and pulls. Uh, I've got some little toys, bands and bits and bobs going on in there as well. So. I've got quite, I'm quite lucky. I've got quite a nice setup. I've got all the things I need. Um, to be honest, 70% of what we're going to be doing, you can get away with a pair of legs and a pair of dumbbells. But it's nice to have variety because like I said a few minutes ago, this isn't just about like losing weight or anything or just getting strong. I want to get fitter, which means I have to work on all the different pillars of fitness. I need to use my body in different ways and equipment isn't necessary, but it helps out and it also makes it a bit less boring. So yeah. That's it. That's it for day zero. This is day zero's video done and uh, it all kicks off tomorrow. So join me.